All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got right here a young man who's familiar to all LRW wrestling fans, Mr. Sean Evans. How you doing, Sean? Great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Uh, Sean, Sean has just recently come to me with a very new concept, a brand new imaginative concept for LRW wrestling. What is that concept, Sean? Tag Team Wrestling. Tag Team Wrestling. And you also have come to me with a new nickname. What is your new nickname? The Sandman. The Sandman. Now, why are you now going under the name of The Sandman? Well, it was actually uh, your wrestler, uh, Nathaniel Noel, who taught me the uh, sleeper hold. And, uh, I mastered it. It's my new signature move. Ah, okay. So. Uh, Nathaniel, Nathaniel was master of the sleeper hold, so you're putting people to sleep now, calling yourself The Sandman. That's, that's a good concept. Uh, do you have a name? Do you have a name for your new tag team? Mm. The Velvet Mafia. The Velvet Mafia. That has a certain connotation. We won't get into it. Uh, you have a nice little red velvet uh, ring jacket there. Do you have a partner? Do you have a partner selected for your tag team? I certainly do. You do. And could you tell me a little bit about him? Yeah. Uh, he's actually a great friend of mine uh, mm -hmm. from Connecticut. Uh -huh. He's involved in theater. His name's uh, Hayden uh, uh, Beaulieu. Okay, Hayden Bogu, and he's a good friend of yours. He's from Connecticut. I have all these notes here. I have all these statistics written down about him. Uh, I, I think he's done in wardrobe right now. Could you bring him on out here, please? What's up? Uh, hey, you've outdone yourself here. Let me tell you something. So We have had a lot of photogenic wrestlers here in LRW wrestling, okay? That's what we're known for, wrestlers with photogenic appeal. But let me tell you something. You and this ring attire, you and this, this is iconic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a blue velvet ring jacket. You don't know what this represents. You don't know what this symbolizes. This is, this whole total package that I'm looking at right now, this is absolutely amazing. Well, what about your package? I should start calling you Yellow Man. Your friend has a sarcastic way with words. Okay, all right. Uh, I see that you're a Libra. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a Cancer, all right? Cancers run on pure emotion. We're very deeply emotional, f feeling people. You guys, this is the only astrological sign that's symbolized by an inanimate object. I don't know if you guys can get along with guys like me. Despite your photogenic appeal, we'll see how this goes. You're from a very bucolic rural community in eastern Connecticut. It's called Plainfield, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got this film that you did. I saw the film. I liked it, as a matter of fact. It's called Red. It's an independent film. You've also starred in the West End Lounge New York City Cabaret as a performer. You were in the College Fringe Festival Society near... You were a soloist there near Philadelphia, and you're currently shooting an independent film, and it's called Satan's Children. Am I right? Yeah. Satan's Children. Satan's Children. Okay. Uh, let me tell you something, okay? Uh, it is a tradition here. It is a tradition here. I don't want to impose on you or anything, but it is a tradition here in LRW Wrestling to pose and flex for the camera when you're a new wrestler here being introduced. So could you do that, please? Take that jacket. Yeah. Put a little bit of flesh. Yeah. Right now I can tell I can tell you a little bit up tight. Hey, hey, don't don't touch me. Not about that. I was putting my hand on your shoulder. To calm you down because I could see that you were undergoing anxiety there. All right, here's your jacket. Take your take your jacket. Look, I, uh, sure. I don't think this concept is going to work. All right, I am a cancer. All right, we're very emotional people. I don't like being disrespected by anybody, and I'm being disrespected by this young guy. I don't care how good looking he is. I don't care how photogenic he is. I'm not going to take this. All right. So my instincts are telling me right now. This whole concept that you came up with of a tag team, I don't like it. I'm not going to go for it. Yeah, I'm not. It's my fucking federation, all right. I'm not going to go for it. What's going to happen is you are going to 
I'm not gonna say wrestle. You're gonna fight this. What do you mean, no? No way. Why? You are a college student. You're in buried up to your neck in debt. If you want to be paid, you go to fight this guy. Hayden is my partner. Oh, he's your partner. He's your partner. Hello, partner. Don't be a good partner to him, all right? You gotta pay your fucking debts, all right? I am the guy who is hiring you. It's my paycheck that's gonna be going into your pocket. I, this is a, it, there's not even any discussion here, all right? You are gonna fight him, not wrestle him. You're gonna fight him. It's gonna be no disqualification. It's gonna be no rules. It's going to, as a matter of fact, it's gonna be no submission because I don't want you to encounter a little bit of pain and tap out. He's gonna put you through hell for 15 fucking minutes, all right? And the people out there, they're gonna love it because they're gonna to wanna to see a pretty boy like you with a snotty fucking attitude get what's coming to him. And you know, I'm gonna be a fucking referee here. I'm gonna be refereeing this match. And since it's no disqualification, since it's anything goes, I may take a few shots at you myself. I'm not fighting you. Oh no, you're not fighting me. You scared of no, me? No, I'm not fighting you. You're scared of me, right? No, I'm not fucking scared of you. Then why wouldn't you fight me? Fucking too creepy and bizarre, man. Creepy and bizarre. Nobody has ever had the audacity to call me creepy and bizarre. You have fucking dug your own grave, all right? Let me tell you something. You guys don't know me. I am not from Connecticut all my life. I lived all my adult life in New Orleans, in the Bywater part of, part of the Ninth Ward, all right? Who that think they gonna beat them saints? Who that? You don't know about the who that nation. You don't know about New Orleans culture. You don't know about, last time I was down in New Orleans, I stayed next to a voodoo temple. You don't know about voodoo. You don't know about burning the black candles, sticking the black pin into the voodoo doll, clipping the hair and putting it on the voodoo doll. You don't know any of that shit, all right? Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match that's coming up, it is going to be cruel. It is going to be sadistic. And it's going to be a total departure for any, from anything that a lot of WWE wrestling has ever done. Now it's dark.